Something has crawled up this poor woman's leg and refuses to come out. Her friend almost has it by the tail, but then at the last second it does the unthinkable and burrows even deeper. The scared animal probably would have gone up way higher if she didn't stand up in time and let gravity force it back down. She is either trying not to scream or lose her lunch as her friend tries again, this time wrapping its tail around his index finger. He manages to extract a giant rat and quickly puts it back in its container. The rat looks used to being handled, and this is probably the only thing that kept it from trying to bite and scratch its way out. A Russian YouTuber named Phantom claims to have met a ghost at an abandoned house that's full of quote, many terrible and mysterious legends. Maybe this sign will tell us more about its history if someone can translate it. All I can make out is the year 1910 at the very bottom. In the middle of a rock floor, he finds candles unlit, strewn in a circle. The scene gives him an eerie feeling and he doesn't want to stay here for long, for fear of whoever left them here returning to find him. He thinks the legends probably are not real and that whoever set these candles was just trying to scare paranormal explorers like him. He decides to come back even later at night to make sure the legends of paranormal activity really are just a myth. As he creeps back to the house, he's surprised to find the candles are now lit and his horrors have just begun. Standing in the middle of the circle is a mysterious tall figure wearing robes and seemingly not even noticing Phantom is at the window. So deep is its concentration. It's locked in a dark meditation of some sort that he cannot break. Phantom no longer cares about getting the best paranormal evidence ever caught on camera and goes running into the woods for his life. The woods have grown colder, more forbidding as he hides between a tree and wait, too afraid to turn his light off even though he knows he's being followed. The mysterious figure is on him in an instant, and as it heads his way without taking any steps, he gets to see its smirking face under the cloak. I think this video is probably not real, because it looks like he uses a filter to stimulate his equipment messing up, and also because if it was real, then I don't know how he could have survived. When there's something angry in your home, it will make its presence known. Published to YouTube by Laney and Ben in June of 2021, this short scary clip shows their haunted house in action yet again. Laney is making breakfast and walks over to set the dishes on the table, but the moment she turns her back to the cupboard, it swings wide open and a bottle of ketchup is expelled from it. Laney captures a glimpse of the paranormal activity, and although she still appears a bit shocked, it's clear she's seen this sort of stuff before. She simply calls out for Ben and then calmly leaves the kitchen. <laughs> Is the spirit just reminding Laney not to forget the ketchup, or is this a forewarning? Because a red liquid condiment seems a bit too on the nose. Tell us your theory. What is this poltergeist after? Earl Kirk Kendall captures a bright light in the sky, but it's not a meteor, lightning, or an unidentified flying device. It's his poor neighbor's house erupting. This video is terrifying because of how calm everything is before, during, and after. There's no no warning signs beforehand, and seconds later, you'd never know a family's entire livelihood has gone up in flames. Even scarier, a cause for the incident has yet to be determined, meaning anyone in the neighborhood could be next. Have you ever received a call from the beyond? TikToker Epic Paranormal posted this video, explaining that their mom received a phone call from her uncle. The only problem is, he's passed away. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know about you, but that entire clip gave me chills. Many in the comments have similar stories, having received calls from their departed loved ones. Others have a feeling of dread after watching this clip. I can't blame them. <laughs> If I got a voicemail like this, I would be terrified. A woman by the name of Cecilia Carasso in Chile strode past the reception desk at a law office in 2015 when she was attacked by something invisible. As you watch the CCTV video, Cecilia is strolling with a young woman towards the reception desk when she reportedly felt something push her with such force that it caused her to fall backwards hard. You can see Cecilia chatting with the woman and gesturing at something when suddenly, out of nowhere, she falls flat on her back. She doesn't just slip, she absolutely appears as though she was pushed. I wasn't aware of anyone in front of me as I passed the reception desk talking to a girl and as I looked up towards the receptionist, I suddenly felt two pairs of hands shove me over, Cecilia said. She later added, I hit the floor and when I looked up, I couldn't see anybody and I thought they must have run off. When Cecilia asked the receptionist who had pushed her, she was told that nobody had. Cecilia didn't believe the receptionist until she was shown footage of the incident. After seeing it, she was sure that she had been the victim of a ghost attack since there was absolutely nobody around her. Cecilia's doctors reported that her injuries were consistent with a fall, but that she'd also received a large blow to the head, which may have caused confusion about what she felt and about her injuries, but that doesn't explain what happened in this creepy CCTV footage. Most of the passengers have on headsets and are watching a mid-flight movie, but one of them sees a reoccurring image and takes out their phone. This brief clip is the final incident sense of what they saw. Floating up from one of the seats is a formless mist that briefly swirls into the shape of a twisted face and disappears. All airlines are smoke-free nowadays, but I suppose that could be another possibility. Picture this, it's early morning when you hear this outside your window. Published by Golf Wagon in April of 2020, what would you think if this was your morning greeting? The repeated noise coming from a distance sounds like a mysterious metallic roar. It continues for nearly the entire length of the two minute video. The sounds don't seem to be happening at the same interval, so that makes some in the comments think its source is not, in fact, mechanical. Many commenters from all over the world, from Serbia to Indonesia to South Korea, claim to have heard similar sounds. Some believe it's atmospheric, others think it's sonar, and still others say it sounds like a living thing. Do you think it's a sign of the end of times? If so, you'd better hope you're prepared. Paranormal investigators Mindseed TV get schooled by the spirits while exploring this haunted elementary school. They enter into what can only be described as a spooky atmosphere. <laughs> the f was that? I know exactly what that was. That's a wolf, huh? Gotta be. Yeah, that's one f way to start the night. As they walk around, the spookiness increases. Hey, seen that? Hello? Hello? No way. While they're examining the door, something appears in the floor grate below. Watch closely. Right away. What was that? While the crew is downstairs, a static camera they left in the living room picks this up.
first, the horse toy moves around oddly on its own, and then a shadow figure appears to move away from it. Here it is again. What now occupies this haunted school? Well, I'm prone to thinking it's the former students. I'm sure there are other theories as well. What do you think is going on here? For more creepy videos like this one, be sure to check out Mindseed TV's channel. There's a poltergeist afoot in this abandoned house. YouTuber Paranormal Mai investigates, and he soon discovers why the home has been abandoned. <laughs> Arkasını da göstereyim arkadaşlar. Şey. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> The falling of the tray at the beginning would have been enough to send me packing, but the chair slamming sideways at the end has me absolutely convinced that there's something here that doesn't want us here. I think we should show ourselves out. A video taken from an undisclosed neighborhood in East Texas captures on camera some scary noises from the woods at night. Scary noises that certainly have to be hungry wolves laying territorial claim. So if those were wolves, tell me what this next scary noise is, or more importantly, why it's coming straight towards him. People in the comments are saying that this sounds like a half-wolf, half-human creature. The uploader has lived here for a long time and the scary voice in the woods is enough to send him running back inside because he's never heard anything like it before, although he probably should have never gone outside to begin with if you ask me. According to one comment, there's been lots of reports of these scary noises in East Texas for years now without a proper explanation. If you live here, then let me know if you've heard the unexplained screams and what you think they are. I don't know if this episode of CK Taylor's show is more odd or terrifying. Today's item on the menu is Gooey Duck, which is an oversized clam, not a duck, though it does look extraordinarily gooey. Forget about the appearance for one second and let me ask you this. Would you be able to eat anything that sounds like a hissing balloon? <laughs> It doesn't get any prettier or less odd looking when you remove the first layer of skin. If anything, it just looks twice as terrifying as before. And when CK Taylor cracks open the shell, the rest of its body looks like some kind of tumor. This is what it looks like when it's fully prepared, which I will admit looks more like a regular piece of seafood, but still like something from another dimension. So that's a hard pass from me. To be fair, I'm sure CK Taylor is an excellent chef, and her husband says it tastes good when he tries it. It tastes good. Right? Yeah. Would you be brave enough to take a bite? A strange cloud phenomenon in the sky coincided with the appearance of a mysterious lake creature in China. Published by Real UFO in May of 2017, CCTV captured both, which were reported in this news clip. The cloud shape looks almost like a hand reaching to grip something. Then again, clouds can often look strange without it meaning something paranormal is going on. But this lake creature is hard to explain away. It disturbs the water's surface at length, appearing to be a long eel or a sea monster. What is this enormous creature? And does its appearance have anything to do with the sky phenomenon? Or is it simultaneously simply a coincidence? Seems suspect to me. Shimeo, New Mexico is where you'll find the famous Ghost Garage, a paranormal hotspot along the highway where a ghost or two just might climb into your car. This person thinks they have a real paranormal video of a spirit caught on tape in this video. I kind of see what he's talking about, but you really must pay attention. 
or you'll miss both of these two ghost sightings. Do you see their faces? I think I might. Then again, I would like to see the original video without the filter. Only then will we know what these bizarre figures truly are. This video stands as a clear warning to always verify who is at your door before you answer it. This ring video was originally posted to TikTok by Wins Home Awareness. The video shows a man wearing a hood approaching the door of this residence. It's nighttime. He rings the doorbell and when the homeowner opens it, the man immediately enters without asking. It's clear he is a stranger. When the homeowner tells the man he needs to leave, the intruder starts stammering incomprehensibly. Yes, Who are you? Everybody knows. How are you? You need to leave. How far? Out there. What's the reason here, Joe? The homeowner has to physically grab the man's arm and shove him outside. As he slams the door shut, the man starts pounding on it. What? What's the soul stairs here? Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs here? Goodbye. Even though he's now locked out, the intruder stands on the front step looking in. He tries the handle several times, just waiting there. What are this man's intentions? We can only guess, but I'd wager they aren't good. These friends are trying to up their view count on Periscope, so they make a deal with their audience that they will soon regret. I said 20 views and we call the police. They hit their goal and immediately dial 911. Cobb County 911 for some location in your emergency. She is trying to make a joke about her brother but accidentally makes it sound like she is being neglected by her parents. He's only two and my mama left me. The 911 operator calls back nine times only to be given falsified information and hanged up on. I guess they must have eventually traced the cell phone signal to an exact address because after a while this happens. <gasps> oh my, come down here now. Her mother spends the next three minutes yelling at everyone and trying to smooth things over with the police. I don't think any of them were charged with anything serious, and they all should consider themselves lucky. I've never heard of the rake. You're about to. YouTuber Apex TV notes that this clip was caught in a Mexican park riding. Many claim the strange creature is a legendary creature known as the rake. Now what's the rake, you ask? Described as humanoid-like in appearance, the legendary creature is said to go after humans and other animals for no known reason and is cited as a possible proxy to the mysterious tall and skinny woodland lurker. According to records, the first account of a rake, in which the writer uses the creature's name, appears in a 1691 mariner's log. The next written description appears in the 1800s, charging the rake with being absolutely terrifying with hollow black eyes. After hearing of these accounts and descriptions of the forest creature, does this mysterious figure atop the playground appear to be the rake to you, or do you believe it's something else? If so, what? Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by FitEntry2562, this redditor wrote, Lightning without thunder. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Zoidberg GE thinks that this is heat lightning. Well, Tillman117 wrote, There's no such thing as heat lightning. The reason why you can't hear it is because it's simply too far away. The light from lightning can travel a very large distance as the sound cannot. Considering clouds can be thousands of feet in the air, and the distance you are from that cloud currently can just mean it's too far away for you to hear it.
so it seems like both sides are at least in agreement that this mysterious storm has an explanation. But nevertheless, what do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes, her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. This video looks like it was intentionally set up to capture something that has been appearing in a closet lately. At first, you can't really see anything, but after a while, the shadows begin to form into a human-like figure. The shadowy shape peeks out from behind the door, and at one point even appears to have two bright white eyes. The grainy quality of this video is a strong indication that it was edited. But then again, this may be a very old cell phone video, or perhaps a very early internet video that needed to be heavily compressed before uploading. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.